Hey friends, I'm Pavel, and this is my first English video. I'd like to show you three amazing sights in Prague today. I'm going to ride this machine. It's an electric unicycle Bigode Master Pro, and it has the advantage that it has the performance similar to a small motorbike or scooter. but it allows me to get to a place where I wouldn't be able to get with a motorbike. It's a very good way to get around in urban traffic because it combines the advantages of a motorbike and walking. I'm something of a pedestrian who can walk a lot more in a day than if I walked on my own two feet. A bicycle is also a good way to get around town, but it's not as fast and I personally consider cycling more of a sport, and in these December conditions I would have to sweat into my clothes, which is very uncomfortable. This way, I get only a little tired, but still it's also a kind of exercise and exercise. I do a lot to strengthen my legs and firm up my back and abdomen. I've done a bit of a walking trail now, but you'll see that you can ride quite well on the road in the same way as with a motorbike. You can see that I'm much faster than someone on a skateboard, for example. Unfortunately, you don't get too much respect on the road from some drivers. You think he's gonna pick up time when he passes me and then waits five minutes at a traffic light anyway. People aren't ready for the fact that such a small machine with only one wheel can go that fast in traffic. I drive similar speeds to other cars, so I should be just as careful not to cause an accident, or if possible, avoid an accident if I'm overtaken. It's December. Usually there is a lot of snow in winter, even here in Prague recently, but it turned beautiful and all the snow melted. So as you can see, it's a good opportunity to get out and ride a bit in the spring like weather. Now I don't want to go so fast, so I'll cross into the bike lane and let the car pass in peace. If the drivers are reasonable, they respect me a lot. And here is the secret way to get to our first viewpoint. You see, cars and motorbikes are not allowed, but I can with this unicycle as I am a completely different size. I'm not making smog. I don't make noise. I'll go through every little hole like this. I have no problem going up hills. You have to be considerate. That was a nice last minute run in. See, pedestrians can be a little unpredictable. So you have to be very careful. At the moment, I'm in between pedestrians, so I have to adjust my speed and caution. You see, there are a lot of people here. There's probably something going on. They're selling mulled wine, beer, and all sorts of good stuff. Christmas is coming up, and so a lot of people are taking the day off. Vice Ride is definitely 
one of the places every foreigner should go to because it opens up some wonderful views and cultural sites. Like the S. Martin's Rotunda here, for example. And you see, we're slowly getting to the top. I'm gonna have to tread carefully here. Sorry. I can't drive on the grass like this. Fortunately, the unicycle has a very large wheel and has no problem riding on grass, cobblestones, or terrain. In certain cases, they can even go downstairs. Well, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? The perfect place to go here with your girlfriend for a romantic walk or if you are a tourist. It's a place from which you can see almost all of Prague. Sorry. You see, even though I'm very careful, sometimes it's hard to talk myself out of it. But it's hard to imagine me riding a motorbike here. I don't think pedestrians would be happy with me. I don't think they do now. But if they see me being careful and going slow, they tolerate me. Unfortunately, people don't have eyes in the back of their heads, so I have to assume they'll jump in my way. Well, we're getting to the best vantage point. I'll show you what interesting things you can see from here. It's really beautiful here, isn't it? Now, let's take a look at Vierat itself. This church is the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul. The temple was founded by the Czech King Vratislav II in 1070, and in 1088 it was dedicated to St. Peter, and then to St. Paul, I'm Paul too, so I like this temple a lot. It's a really beautiful piece of architecture. And now we come to the temple itself. There's also a very important burial ground, or if you want a cemetery, where many famous figures of Sikh history are buried. Celebrities, artists, writers, poets, and maybe soon some influence and YouTubers. Now we will leave this beautiful place and go and have a look. And this is the Podolia bike path. It's a beautiful bike path that I definitely recommend if you want to ride a bike or an electric unicycle. They've reconstructed this bike path right here. So it's got a new surface and it's wide and it's lovely to ride. There are also pedestrians and strollers, so you have to be a bit careful. But now I'm moving to this road so I can go a little faster and not endanger pedestrians. I haven't shown you this saddle yet, and how it works. This saddle was bought on AliExpress. It's been retrofitted there, but even the original saddle is pretty good and usable. This one is a bit more comfortable though, and it's taller, so you can sit nicely on a unicycle like this, which you'll use on a longer trip or a fast ride. If you want a little less air resistance and less fuel consumption, and therefore more rain. Not everyone feels safe sitting on a unicycle, 
but if you have a good big unicycle, a high enough saddle, and some experience, then sitting is very safe, comfortable, and fun. As you can see, I am riding in the bike lane, and here we turn onto the bike path again. So you can see that the unicycle has great advantages in that I can combine different routes in this way. On the road, I'm much faster than a bicycle. And on the sidewalks, I can ride slowly, just like a pedestrian. And not take up as much space as a cyclist, so it really is a very clever mode of transport. As you can see, I drive very carefully because I don't know if a dog or a kid is going to jump around the corner. There's a very large layer of mud here, and I have to be careful not to slip when turning. It's dark here. I'll turn on my light. And I leave it on because in the Czech Republic, cars and motorcycles are ordered to keep their lights on all the time. So I'll respect that too. There is a beautiful view of the mighty Vltava River. So here we see that something is happening. It looks like the bike path ends here and we're going to pass it, so we're going carefully. I have to be very careful here because I'm riding on a thick layer of gravel, but the unicycle usually gets over everything without any problems. I'm going to turn left here and take this road. At this point, I'm going to try and accelerate a little bit. I'm not holding up the traffic, and I've got it over quickly. And now, he almost jumped in. As you can see, a cyclist is a lot slower than me, unless he's a racer. And here we have a view of the rocks in the so-called Prokop Valley which we're about to pass. If you would like to take a cycling trip, I'm sure this is a very interesting place to look. But here you will rather admire the beauty, nature, and views, rather than the sights of a historic city. I thought right here is very interesting, the railway bridge, which we'll look at later from above. Again, we see that there is a ban on entry, cars and motorcycles, but I am considered a rider on a personal transporter, so I can afford to ride here. With respect for pedestrians, of course. I could go very fast here, but because of the pedestrians, and as you can see, the very muddy terrain, I'm going to drive rather slowly and carefully. As you can see, People and dogs often don't know about me until the last moment because I drive absolutely silently. If you have a very off-road tire, you might hear a bit more because it makes a noise when it comes into contact with the road. Especially at high speeds, there's a distinctive sound, but the electric motor in the unicycle is almost inaudible. Small children and dogs are often very unpredictable and can jump in your path at the last minute. So don't count on it. You can ride, but drive very slowly and carefully around them. Dogs and humans have long since lost their natural instincts and caution, which they should have in a wilderness full of dangerous predators. Some people today wouldn't even notice if a dinosaur was stomping behind them. As you can see, this scooter doesn't seem to know about me either. It doesn't have rear view mirrors, 
and it has a hood on the whole time, which limits its view even more. On the right, we see the rocks, which are beautifully lit by the sun. And we will soon reach these rocks. We will have a beautiful view of the whole of Prague. After a while, As one stands, one's feet may start to ache. But over time, you train all your muscles and get used to it. But at the beginning, your feet, calves, thighs, and buttocks may hurt. So it's quite an interesting workout. A lot of people praise the fact that they got rid of their back pain and strengthened specific areas, thanks to unicycling. And this is where families get together, roast some sausages, have a bonfire, and have some attractions for the kids. So, it's a very nice place. Even in a big city like Prague, there are interesting places to go to in the countryside. Yes, Prague in particular is special and exceptional in terms of beautiful places and nature, because even though it is the largest city in the Czech Republic, there are many interesting nature reserves, forests, and parks. Here again is a place where cars and motorbikes cannot go. I am very happy to have a unicycle that has the biggest battery of all unicycles. And so I can travel almost 200 keem on a single charge, which is over 120 miles. So trips like this around Prague don't make me nervous at all. I would certainly welcome an even bigger battery, but this of course reflects on the weight of the unicycle and also its price. Therefore, I don't think that a unicycle with even bigger capacity will be available in the near future. It would already be very heavy and also expensive. Certainly work can be done on charging speed, and we will hope that in the future technologies will emerge that allow more capacity to be put into batteries at the same weight. Even in this kind of terrain in the woods and on the mud, I am able to ride quite easily, thanks to the large wheel and suspension, and effective traction on one wheel. So it is not strictly an urban vehicle, but an off-road means of transport. And now we finally get to that aforementioned prospect. Take a look. Isn't it beautiful? Those are the rocks I showed you from below. There we see the railroad bridge I was talking about. And let's go a little further so we can see the whole of Prague better. As you can see, this is an absolutely amazing place. Look, let's try to go down these stairs. As you can see, this machine is a really, really off-road vehicle. But I'd better take this one and try and get back to the original road. I've got to wade through the trees and the mud and the roots. I have to be really careful here because the mud is slippery. But as you can see, I'm going and I'm not falling. 
This machine is amazing. Even with my weight of over 100 kilograms, it will go with ease. And there's this tricky corner where there's a lot of mud. I've done that too. And now I can finally accelerate a little bit. Here I can show you that even driving on grass is no problem. The only tricky thing is that it's very wet and can get away from me and I have more of a road tire. So I'd rather go carefully slow. I can really feel it slipping a bit when cornering. And here we can see the view of the whole of Prague opening up. I think this place is unknown to many people, especially for tourists. It's not easy to get here. You have to either cycle or walk, or like me, on a unicycle. As you can see, this is a really amazing sight. That's the V Tower, the modern house I was talking about. There's Vyerad in front of us, which we've been to before. You can see from this view that we're much higher than we were before. Here to sit in the summer, open a beer, and just watch the city and the night sky. I can only recommend that. But we're moving on now. We're going through a very nice park here. And you will see that there is a rather big climb coming up when we are slowly approaching a big hill. And soon we will hopefully discover Pet Ant. This park is almost right in the center of Prague. So if you're going to be here, make sure you take a walking or cycling tour through these beautiful places. Also, a short distance from Petrin is Prague Castle, which you should definitely not forget to visit. As you can see, the unicycle goes up a very steep hill, but it doesn't have the slightest problem. All you have to do is push a little and it goes. Here you can also see such beautiful scenic spots, a lake with ducks and a waterfall. Let's take a look at the waterfall itself. Isn't it beautiful? Look how steep it is, but it's no problem at all for a unicycle. and I can go very slowly. I don't even have to start. Pardon. You see, people don't know. I'm there because I'm driving so quietly. So, I have to draw attention to myself. And here we are. Here are the stairs. What a pity. I wanted to avoid the stairs. I'd probably ride them. They're pretty mild, but I'm not going to try it. I might bend the rim. I don't know if my tire is inflated enough. We'll try to go around. Hopefully, I won't have to go back. Looks like we're gonna make it through here.
there's nobody here. Let's try and get it going a bit. We're getting to one of uh, the vantage points I hadn't originally planned to show you, but now that I've got here, let's take a look. You see, it attracts a lot of tourists. So what do you think? So far, so good, right? Let's keep going. It's gonna get better. So this is where people take pictures. Sorry. And he here are the stairs. That's pretty stupid. Where does it go? I don't even know. I'll have to go the other way. Yeah, I have to admit, this is probably the first time I've been here. There's a lot of different alleys, and I've probably never been down this one before. I know where I am, yes? Yeah, we should go on straight this way. Now we'll be right on the Petron Hill. This is where it gets very interesting. There are beautiful gardens and promenades here. This is the Prague Observatory. You can go here and see with a telescope if there are aliens living on Mars or if there really is an American flag on the moon. They've got really good telescopes. Zooms a lot better than a new iPhone. You may not want to walk or bike here, so you can use the cable car. A land cable car that runs on rails. It's like a cross between a cable car and a train and it comes here and drops you off here. So, you won't have to go up that big hill on your own, but you'll have to pay for the journey. I have the advantage of having my own personal cable car, and so I can go at will, and without other people, and almost for free. It's a very good feeling, And in front of us, we can already see the lookout tower on Petron Hill. You can guess how many meters it is. It looks a bit like an Eiffel Tower. It's a similar steel structure. As you can see, there are a lot of people here, so I have to be extra careful. Unfortunately, there are a lot of trees here that we can't see over, so the views aren't that good. We would have to climb up to the lookout tower, but there we would see really, really nice. But I won't go there today, but I will give you this view that I borrowed. Instead, I'm going to take a little drive around here, and I'll show you what it looks like around here. Yes, it could certainly be more interesting here. 
It's just uninteresting trees. Unsightly pavement but interesting historic buildings. And here you can go into the so-called mirror maze. So we come to this interesting cathedral here, where we're about to get another beautiful view. Yes, it really is a big slalom between the pedestrians here. Maybe here would be the best view but we'll be fine from those benches over there. It's very steep here and people have stopped, so we'll wait. So, here you can see another beautiful view. In front of us is Prague Castle, the National Theatre. That's the tallest tower over there. Well, it's true. You can't see much from here. As you can see, there's the Pet Inn Tower. And from there, you can see everything very beautifully. I'll show you the castle. And here, we could potentially have a problem with the law because segways are banned in the historic part of the city. And the law sometimes views unicycles as segways. So I could get pulled over by a cop here and made to get off my unicycle or pay a fine. But it's never happened to me yet, where I've paid a fine. One time they told me to get off. So we'll look in front of Prague Castle and then we'll ride away quickly. As you can see, a historic city is also associated with historic cars. There are these romantic experience and sightseeing rides around Prague that you can pay for. As you can see, it really does look very historic here, almost like the Middle Ages. And here we have Prague Castle and St. Vitus Cathedral. This is where the legendary president, Milo Zeman, stayed for many years. Now we have a new president, Peter Paul, but he doesn't live here. As you can see, this place is heavily visited by tourists because it's a really beautiful historical place with a wonderful view of the whole of Prague. It's also one of the most beautiful views in Prague. We'll try to find a piece of the place and take a look. Well, it's not the best place, but you can see something here. And from here, I'd like to say goodbye to you. I hope you enjoyed your trip with me. I'll be glad if you let me know in the comments how you liked it. And if you'd like me to take you to other interesting places next time, you can write me tips on what you'd be interested in. If this video is a success, I'll be happy to make another one. Have a nice day.